Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 20. We've hit the 20 mark, and last episode, very excitingly, we managed to destroy an alien spaceship in orbit of Earth. We lost two ships in return for doing so. However, it was a smashing success. And now we're hoping to get some technology back from it and to use that technology to uh, further increase our dominance in space. Uh, in terms of our geopolitical situation, we were making inroads into the Middle East. We were also um, securing up Turkey and some of these other territories. Um, we were dealing with Mexico, which we've managed to fully secure now. Uh, very, very nice in that regard. We are just going to focus on generating uh, money with that. Our military situation is actually in a lot better of a state than it previously was. Uh, we also still obviously control Canada as well. We need to get a defense thing on that. And we are researching um, advanced pulsar drives. So we're going to be looking at new drives um, to build up new ships. Because right now, I don't really want to build the same ships as they had their flaws. And what was really obvious to me was that fuel matters a lot more than i thought it did um so we're going to continue on where it left and uh get the game underway but before we do that please like and subscribe it really does help me out and uh yeah let's get into it so it starts going Great along support. there's that little uh offering support we are getting our Miltech score up a little bit and uh, obviously our economy the eu is making a lot of research points which is really nice to see uh, alien technology project that's exactly what we want and we just finished up a construction module there um so we're gonna go for alien technology i'm gonna put i'm gonna put at least one into that so that'll be 2031 what if we did 50 percent? that'd be february but we have 112 percent xenology bonus 60 percent from hand modules which is a very big deal um that construction module did just finish up. Now, we do have access now. If we go to resistance and we go to Earth, uh, we should have access to the newest. These are science labs. I believe we should have access to the newest nano factories. Yeah, over here. So we can upgrade that module. Um, we should be able to anyway. Uh Between Marowak's construction module, Nano Factory. There we go. Those should be able to speed themselves up. There's also a little war in uh, Iran. Uh, we probably want to go take over Armenia. We do have... Russia does have claim over it. Uh, so we will set up rivals. Do we already have Armenia as a rival? I would imagine so. Uh, we can really just rival everyone that's part of the servants as, for Russia. Uh, just because if we need to declare war, we can obviously always do that exactly. So we're going to rival all those states. There we go. And then we're going to invade Armenia. Uh, we can also look at invading Turkmenistan. Uh, Tajikistan is also another state that we probably want to look at invading. The problem is they are allied with India. And India is controlled by the initiative. And they have nuclear weapons, obviously. So we want to be very careful about doing anything there. Uh, our mines produce 15% more water. Now that is going to be something that's very big. How much ex how much expense is that for us to get? So for water purification at 15,000. Bloody hell, that's quite a bit, isn't it? Um, in terms of solar system exploration, we can look at founding an outpost on Mercury. And I'm, and I'm considering it to gain control. Um, Mercury does have some very rich minerals. Um, that we can make use of. This particularly uh, Tolkien crater uh, is something that's very interesting. Uh, we're going to need more mass apparently for the shielding though. Let's found an outpost on Tolkien crater. So found outpost. Outpost founded. Um, we can't found a larger settlement because that's going to be too expensive. But that does give us now a settlement onto Mercury. So we are going to build on that settlement. Um, let us start with a construction module, which will make things a little easier. We'll start with a solar collector. And we can't build a solar array, but that should generate us a lot of power. That generates 67 power, so we don't really have to worry about that too, too much. And then an outpost mining complex as well. Um, 190 boost. We can send over a settlement core. That's a bit of a... It's a bit of an exploit, that, no? 
Well, I guess that works. We can send over a settlement core anyway, get that built up. Uh, but we found our, our little colony there on Mercury. We're going to need, again, more mission control. And we were talking about last episode that Saudi Arabia and Egypt and these kind of states have a lot of mission control capability kind of just sitting there. I mean, look at this. Gulf states, that's what's got five in it. So if we can take over these states and ally them to where we need to ally them to, we could be in a very, very good good situation. Uh, we just did make the commission day base on Mars. Uh, that is in transnational coordination projects. How much does that provide? That's 10,000 increased by 25 points. We do, we would like some more points. Um, definitely. Okay, you can't get an upgrade. You can get your admin upgrade. That can provide you with a new... A new person. You're probably going to find mission control right now. We don't have any undersigned ops here. Can we buy any larger ops? Jet Propulsion Laboratory would be massively nice. Um, this would provide us with a space mining output of 11%. I'm very key about that. Um, maybe get rid of org, And we're going to buy that. And that will provide us with an 11% bonus to mining. And mining, as we've seen, is really important because it took so much to refuel um, that water. We get 50% bonus to our production of water, which is really big. Um, in terms of finding more water, uh, prospecting, um, icy planetoids, that series, Mars has, has water on it. Um, Ten Hygieia, Marius Base, uh, of course. But there's, there's not a lot of places where we can get access to the water. Dimos is, is another consideration. Um, so I'm going to probably do that as well. Is set up on Dimos. We go over to Mars. Looks like they've set up a bunch of stations around Mars. Which is very interesting. Um, I'm going to build a settlement on Dimos. Go to Mars. So Dimos, we are going to put a salmon mining complex in. We are going to put in a fission reactor array. So that provides us with 42 power. That requires 36 power. And then with the remaining one, we will put in a nano factory. That will cost us resources. But I don't believe... Um, last finding auto settlements, last finding platforms and outposts. I don't really think we need another factory here, actually. We'll just do that. That will be very, very basic. Uh, we can put a platoon barracks on as well, uh, which is cheap enough. And that provides us five. Um, but yeah, we'll take over. We've got Dimos and Phobos, and those provide us a little bit. They have, like, the highest water available at the moment. So, um, obviously, that is a bit of an issue. We may have a look. Once we can build up some ships, it's, it's taking over the Martian, Martian territories. We do need to take over some of the stations in low Earth orbit. Um, still, that should be a focus as well now. The people will come to our side. Okay, we are building up some public rapport in the United States because we are making some efforts to try and go into the US. Uh, the Iran war still continues after they used that nuclear weapon, which was uh, not great. Okay. Unfortunately, we did not get a purge off. However, we do now have control of Egypt. I'm going to make sure that they are allied with Russia. Um, to make sure that Russia protects exactly what we need. Um, Mexico, we got back after the uh, war was declared. They're not allied properly, which is good. And we completed the Marine Barracks. We are now at 365 on our capacity, which is uh, not great. Okay, I need you to go defend that interest in Canada, please. Safe for our Ready for but I'm not really using influence, so I don't Stay mind too, too much. Though being over the cap is a bit of an issue, of, of course. Uh, you go after the executive here. We'll give you a little bit of influence to do so. Uh, you Ready can stabilize way. the EU. Um, you can keep building up public I'm campaigning going. in the United States as much Ready. as possible. And over here, you can go investigate some alien activity as well. And um, we do have some capacity now left. Let's let me have a look at some of my ships. We should have our Romeo 11 available. Yes, we do. We're going to transfer you. Let me have a look at Intel. Who is over the cap? Because we can pick up a station or two here, probably. Uh, resources, resources. Humanity first is... 
Humanity first. This doesn't like the protector are. Uh, let me try and go after the servants then. Transfer to uh, Belisaria Station. Grab that back for us, please. Uh, confirm assignments and go back to Earth. Securing our control. Uh, West Germany gains a claim there. We do want to consider potentially going for that European Ascendancy project. Events Pulsar Drive is nearly with us. Romeo 11 has completed transfer. We are going to assault. Oh, that's not a very good chance, is it? 11% chance to seize. Yeah, not what I uh, what, what I'd think, because they've got Marine Platoon Barracks on that station. That station's very, very well defended. Um, let's try and take over Talamanca. Because that probably would have less defenses on it. Uh, United Turkestan. Turkey gains a claim on a bunch of different states. All right. Uh, that purge is not going to happen, looks like. We also need to defend that interest in Cairo, which is what we'll do next. Skunk Works. Interesting. What does that do for us? Um, so that provides us with engineer project uh, income. Um, but that is pretty expensive to support overall. Violence is abating. There we go. Reduced that. So the EU is now doing a lot better. We're winning their hearts and minds. Contraband scanners. Okay, we should have that in November. So that's that drive coming up. Katanga independence movement. Recon complete. Okay, Romeo 11. Are you going to... Uh, urban warfare doctrine. No, I want to go over to Romeo 11. Transfer to Talamanca Station. Shouldn't take that long. Okay. Defend our interests in Securing Egypt, our please. So, oh, yes. yep. Chanze, look at doing some coup attempts. Let's do a coup attempt in Saudi Arabia, please. For a change. Your orders. Uh, you can advise the EU once more. Standing you flight. can keep building up more public support in the you US. The you can go investigate more alien activity because that'll give us further bonuses in research we'll need for alien technology. That'll be done again in November of next year. Protecting our interests. I will help them. Uh, priorities for you. Focus on mission control if possible. How much will complete? That's Marine Platoon Barracks done. Yep, focus on mission control if possible, as much as we can. That gives us a lot of bonus. Keep that advice on as much as possible. That gives us a lot of bonus over there. Advanced Pulsar Drives. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, what do I want next? Well, Transnational Coordination. Solar Platform gets Sodium Heat Sinks. Water Purification Techniques. We don't have too good of a bonus for that. Um... Fleet combatants is, is a is a potential. That'd give us larger ships. Ferrocytes is also potential. Um hmm. I'm not too sure what we would go for. Rapid response teams. I like that. We've got the bonuses for it. We'll put one into there and then we'll focus on the carbon nanotubes. Uh we'll do two there, 50%, do that and do that. That gets we got 102% bonus, so we might as well do so. Let me have a look then at those new drives. So let's look at designing a ship class. So power plant, uh, not power plant, drive. So we now have advanced pulsar drive. So that provides 180 kilonewtons of thrust. Um with set 32 kps. This is compared to previous pulsar drives, so it's twice as efficient and nearly twice as much. Um yeah, nearly twice as much in terms of thrust. However, it does use a lot more power. Um, Gal uh, is a lot more efficient on here. So that, we could add that on. That would give us a pretty good combat acceleration. Hmm. I'm liking this. This, is this idea. Okay, how about... Let's go for... 
This is one per month. Destroyers are two per month, but can have a lot more on. Frigates is two per month as well. But they're kind of different in terms of their capabilities. Okay, we'll do a destroyer. We'll do a strike destroyer. And I want to put on advanced pulsar drive. We're going to put on weapons. So we have Artemis torpedoes. The Viper missiles seem to have been okay. Oh, actually, no, we've got the Rattler missiles now. So we're going to use the Rattlers. Okay, Rattlers on. Guns, we can put on those weapons. We'll put on the large gun. Uh, armor, we will make sure we're using that armor. Um, propellant tanks, well, that's a lot better range. Uh, 18 KPS. I'm not too bad at that. Combat acceleration is not that bad. These pulsar drivers have some good potential. We'll have to see how it ends up. Okay, add this drum. Now, we're going to need a lot of um, engine power because this uses 2.9 gigawatts of power. Now, we generate with this... Um, waste heat 720 megawatts. We have a battery capacity of 21 uh, gigawatts or gigajoules. Um, maximum output of 6 gigawatts. So we can have two engines on this realistically. And I think that's what we'll go for. So two engines. Radiators, we'll put in this radiator. So that will provide 222 tons per gigawatt waste heat. We produce... How much waste heat are we producing? We're producing 1.4 gigawatts. So it's about 300 tons of, of waste heat. We have about a uh, combat acceleration of 500 millijes, 13.8 KPS. Um, let's go for 15 tanks. This is a, a lot smaller vessel. It seems a lot more efficient. Um, the combat acceleration as well, kind of working out for us here. Um, so utility modules, we're going to go for magazines. Ooh, solar outpost kit. We do want to look into some of that, um, but we're going to put in magazines and then mobile science lab, institute resource utilization, uh, heat sink with greater capacity, greater storage capacity. Um, so that would be able to heat. Now let's go all magazines, give ourselves 15.4 KPS. We can't go for more than one of these because we need better solid core fission. And then let's go for six armor. We'll do one one. Okay, I like this. However, before I'm gonna save this design, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to order us to start looking into getting better power plants because that is obviously seeming to be something that is gonna stop us. So I'm going to put in research into that. That'll be on 23rd of November. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to design a in the system colony ship. Um, forget size in the system colony ship, um, and then we are going to add in radiator. And basically, what we're going to put on this, we're going to put in situ resource utilization module. So that what that will do is propellant and unimproved hab sites that produce women that using the ship ships that can use anything's per maybe we propellant at any site and then we're going to put in solar outpost kits so two solar outpost kits as well we can put in we can put in a gun some guns if we want uh, although i don't really think we should in terms of drive we can put in a pulsar drive Do we want to put in a bullseye or do we want to put in something like a Vazimir? Which is very little actual thrust though. Yeah, that's, that's very little actual thrust. And that would take bloody forever to get anywhere we need. So we can just put in a ton of propellant tanks. That would give us 45 KPS. How much more cost is that for? There's not that much more cost. Uh, put in battery, put in power plant. So that's going to cost 411 water. So that, that, it's very heavy on the water, but that gives us 6.2 millijes of normal acceleration. So that allow quicker trajectories through. Now we want to reduce costs, to be honest. I mean, it's not that much more expensive. We'll go for that. And then we don't need any armor on this thing. So this is going to be very much a 
basic, basic, basic vessel. Um, and then we're going to save that design and we are going to consider building that and then using that to go over to Mercury and start some colonization efforts because that'll make everything a lot easier and all cheaper in that regard. So ship construction um, in a colony ship, start building Earth 1 point. So we're going to build one of those vessels that'll be done in 101 days. Okay. Just took control in Saudi Arabia. We're going to focus on all these Gulf states. Their primary focus is going to be on getting us mission control points. That's really what I want out of these states. Um, I don't want anything else. We are going over our capacity somewhat here, of course. Um, mining output now. We've got 60% bonus. It's really, really wow. nice. Um, 114% bonus there. That'll be done 14th of March. But we're going to get that fission reactor, which should make building that next generation of ships better. We have a lot more mission control capacity now. And I'm going to use that capacity mainly for new vessels. Okay, you... What can you do? You can go assault some alien assets. You can go defend our interests in Saudi Arabia. Um, I'm going to need someone to grab this control point, though. That gives us seven mission control. That's a fantastic amount. Uh, you can look at doing some purging, specifically purging into Turkey. Turkey is a consideration, definitely. Uh, what about overthrowing this little place? 69%. I do like that. Let's go for a Q attempt. And then maybe we can take over some stations using that power. Uh, you can steal a project. Let's go have you do so. And uh, let's confirm assignments and get moving. Defend us. interests. So, yeah, getting these uh, these mission control points is, is really boosting our mission control capacity, so that we can we can start building those ships that we we really really want. I think I found something. Uh, farm. What does this do? It's a tier two module. That's very nice. Laid defense array. Tier two module. So it will already look where weapons has been developed. This module will be powerful for that's interesting, but we'll grab the farm. There we go. Very nice. And then we can use that probably on the station that, that takes us a lot of power. So like this is producing us a lot of water. Um But there's there's a, this this base has a lot of people. Why do we still have these? Uh decommission module. Decommission module. We will put on First off, let's build a hab. Build another factory. Um, we can upgrade this fission. And then what I am going to do is we can put on a farm, no? Or are those only for stations? Let me go to Earth. I don't see them here. Operation center, fission piles, energy labs. No, maybe we have to wait for that. Okay, fission reactor done. So that will produce us 15 uh, gigawatts of power. Plasma wave drive. Okay, what does that do? 1,000 kill news. That's a lot. Of, that's pretty efficient, but it's not too useful for us. Um, let's start putting some into Europa Ascendant. Slowly get Europa Ascendant on the way. Um, and then we're going to keep the rest of that tech how it is. Let's design that ship class. Well, more appropriately we're going to begin to upgrade um so we're going to take this and we're going to put in this new engine and that would then provide us we could put in four engines 400 milligies 500 milligies and then we could put in additional that's pretty expensive though two engines in 200 milligies Juice the armor a little bit in the nose, maybe? Fifteen KPS, two hundred and nineteen milogies. Decent amount of cost. I'm okay with this. This is an, definitely an improvement. Um for sure. It doesn't have the same level of speed, however, it has you know more than three times uh the delta v capability um and i think that's that's definitely worthwhile 
Uh, so we're going to save that design and we're going to start producing a few of those vessels. We are going to obsolete some of these, um, so like the Republic class, for example. Let's obsolete that. Um, these vessels can get trashed. Explorer. Um, these kind of vessels can also get trashed. And then we're going to start building with that those new vessels. So that is going to be the um, Venerable class. We're going to build two of those immediately we can also build we can build four of those vessels in 105 days that gives four destroyers and because they have that additional speed now they should be able to reach much much closer in um but no very very nice and then we can go Gulf look at failed. ticking over some states oh we didn't get the gulf states unfortunately but definitely 100 uh four more ships that'll cost us eight more um eight more capacity but it's but we've got the capacity available here, so I don't mind it too much. And we're going to hopefully get the uh, Saudi Arabian uh, control point. Oh, I forgot about defending. Okay, well, we got that point in Saudi Arabia. Uh, let me just turn all this off. I will have to, again, defend all these other points. We do have control of the oligarchs, at least. Um, which is good. But yeah, we, we have control of Saudi Arabia. Now, Tianze, go deal with that little problem in Russia. Removing our enemies. What's the op? Uh, Marcos, defend that interest in Saudi Arabia, please. I'm here. You can look at stabilization, maybe, or we can look at Q. We can't do a Q attempt, really. We need you more just advising the EU because that really does help us out. Um, India, we can steal another project. Go Your ahead and do that. Your orders? Um, assault alien assets. Do we have any alien problems over here? Yes, we do. Uh, alien life forms. That's a lot of alien life forms. We need to go deal with that. So I'm going to move armies around here. Yeah, to go assault these alien assets. Securing our interests. Offering assistance. Okay, how is this coming along here? That's 10,000 points. That'll be done March next year. Low Earth Orbit cleanup. Allow a modest campaign. Uh, debris in low Earth Orbit decreases by one. Grants a small public boost. Augment our efforts. Extensive debris. Do we not have the money for that? Oh my god, we don't have the boost? Well, uh, we can at least do a little bit of cleanup. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Let me have a look. So, solar system. Earth. Orbits. So, one unique cloud, space has them destroyed there, debris clouds present a hazard to undefeated space stations. Okay, so that, that is a risk, a potential risk for us. Uh, what we can do, however, is start establishing some new space stations in low Earth orbit interface orbits. So, we're going to add uh, another one. Uh, we're going to see some more boost capacity. But with you, uh, we can begin looking at getting some more research on the way. Social sciences, life sciences. What is this? Technically, this is social science. So let's do additional social sciences. Then we're going to put on a solar array. Another solar array and then the rest will be social science labs as well and our providers with a nice set of bonuses uh, these providers with uh, plus one strength to public campaign missions um they also provide a, a potential 50 percent uh bonus um but yeah very very nice to public campaign missions but those social science labs are going to be very very useful for us had module completed at demos data acquired Heavy IR cans and short, a large short range of laser cannon. Let's go for the laid defense arrays. Um, and can we build those farms we were talking about? Uh, so if we go to Mars. Nano factory. Apparently not. We can't build those yet. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see them. New state in the Caribbean. 
How is ship construction going? 86 days, 86 days. So that'll be four vessels being built. And then we can regroup those in low Earth orbit. First Panzer Division has arrived in Bucharest. Let's move you up to here. We have a lot of armies actually south. So we will, we will move them straight up. Um, Cairo. Ooh, Strait of Tehran Causeway Project. 10% increase in GDP. That's very interesting. Maybe we can do some like straight edge Gibraltar projects or something uh, different. They can provide us with additional benefits. Oh my god, they're going straight into Russia here. Our associates were unable to take control. We do still control the executive at least, though again, they always keep going in. Okay, deploy this army over here. Okay. Tianza, I need you to start purging. Can't really do a coup attempt though, unfortunately. Getting a purge attempt over here is also a pain in the ass. Um, as long as we've got the executive point control, I don't mind that too much. He does give them some additional boost capacity, but we're, we're only getting three off that. But the Gulf States have six, and it's a lot cheaper to take over for the mission control capacity that we need. So go for a coup de tower attempt in the Gulf States. Ready for order. Um... Marcos, you can go for... Can't we do a crackdown? But you can start building up more public support in Russia. You can stabilize the EU, because apparently we've got some annoying little uh, people causing us problems. Um, we can't... We can look at stealing another project. Just keep stealing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, assault alien assets there. You can move down and we will assault that alien asset currently in Hungary. No more secrets. Heavy IR cannon. I've got access to research. Fantastic. That, that is the larger gun. Okay. The government is They've arrived, so we just took control of the Gulf States. Again, mission control is really what I care about. No, we can we can spend a little bit in spoils, get a little bit of money from them. Uh, now, what I'm going to do with you is we're going to assault that alien asset right there. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Order is returning. Okay, EU is now peaceful. The town that stood still. Oh, guys, a rapid mass evacuation. Um... Huge public opinion boost for the resistance in the European Union. Fantastic. This is why we need to hunt these aliens down. They're kind of abduct, causing a lot of problems here um, in these states. <laughs> Hopefully we should be able to assault those alien assets. Unite Arab League. Egypt gains a claim on all these different states. Hmm... If we can control Egypt and have them go around and basically just start invading all of these different states, there's definitely some uh, something to be said about that. Um, we do need to take over the academy there, though. Okay, keep send send all these armies all over the place and just start assaulting these assets. Okay, 68.3. Mission control is stable for now. Okay, confirm. You public campaign in the US, please. Must persuade the people. Standing by. Actually, I've got a better job for you. It's controlling nation. Defend interests in the Gulf states. Ready to go. You can focus on doing some purge attempts. We've got 1% purge chance. That's size of the national economy. Cancel administration. Difference in ideology. Defend interest. Pie control point. Bloody hell. Um, okay. Can we look at some more Q de attempts? 
But we could control Egypt, and then we can start unifying a bunch of these states. How much is that? How much would that cost? Uh, management. Where was it? United Arab League, twenty thousand RP. Okay, that's a lot. Um. Okay, look at doing some more coup d'etat attempts. So you have none. You have three mission control. 2% chance right there. Um, you have two mission control. We could probably queue pack uh, Iran, but Iran's pretty much dead. You have four mission control capability. Let's queue Jordan, I think. Yeah, let's execute a coup in Jordan. Uh, you as a spy, you can build up some public campaigning in Jordan to get some popular support there. Keep advising because that advising is providing us a lot of benefits. You can set national policy. Uh, we want to have you was it, go and invade Armenia because that's servant controlled. Um, so we would love to go and sort the invasion out for them. Offering support. There we go. That gives us such a big boost, that advice. Okay, they've arrived in Kiev. Start assaulting alien assets, please. Okay, good. Slow the growth. Sanctions. Um... European Union answered Dan in post sanctions. Okay. Good Q attempt in Jordan. Uh, so that's what we'll focus on for now. We'll kick them out of here. Um, how are the aliens responding to us, by the way? Because that is a concern, of course. Uh, aliens. They view us. Estimated alien threat level is not too bad. Okay. We want to get, keep our capacity as high as possible, realistically. Go to Earth. Uh, good solar system. Found platform in interface Earth orbit. Uh, let me go to Earth. Nelson Station. So what research are we not? Life science is military science. Military science does seem to be the thing that we are missing out on. So we are going to build military science labs out the ass. Get as many of those as possible. Turn quick build on because uh, this is a bit of a pain otherwise. Uh, solar array. Milita military science lab. Military science lab. Military science lab. There public we go. 27% public direction. support in Jordan. Policy direction complete. Declare war on Armenia. Join the war. There we go. Move to here. Uh, and then I'm also going to deploy. I'm going to, to deploy some of these armies over here. Move that to Kiev if possible. Get them moved over. We have the 20th Tank Scout Army here. But we don't have the other army because the servants control that unfortunately. Corrupt Generals. Um, oh, none of this is very good, is it? Oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like Turkey losing their control there. United States going after Morocco. Okay, good. We assault that alien um, growth. Let's get these uh, forces then moved over then. They were targeting the Gulf states, but we managed to defend Advanced Cement Nerva Drive. Is that any better? 445 kilonewtons. It's just not efficient enough, though. Realistically speaking, it's just not the, the efficiency that we need. Okay. Defend our interests in Gulf Ready states. Uh, Marcos. Where to? Gotta be very careful about that. We need to ally you with Russia EU. Um, I'm also gonna have you ally with Egypt. Because we can get potentially into a into a union eventually. 
Uh, relations with you, Gulf states, we don't control you yet. Um, Tianze, purge out the servants. I'm here. Um, you can do control nation on the Gulf state, so do so. You cannot do much. We can look at a public support. 24% there. Let's just have you advise in the EU Landing because we don't have the other person advising. We can have you survey, look, actually assault alien assets as much as possible. Um, we just had social science labs finish up, which should have increased our social science lab. We have 74% energy now research. We'll have alien technology coming along pretty quickly. Carbon nanotubes is also going to be done pretty damn quickly as well. Um, let me have a look at Intel. Do we have anyone who's over their cap at all? Um, protectorate are in fact over their cap. Fantastic. So let me grab my ships. Romeo, Romeo 11. Transfer to... Do we have any protectorate assets? We don't seem to have any protectorate assets in low earth orbit, unfortunately. Go over to the initiatives area. Securing our interests. Offering assistance. Okay, assault tab. 71% to get Verse and Garrix back. That's, uh, that's I'm more than willing when to do that. Carbon nanotubes. Look to the Mongoose. Fearlessly. Next generation aerospace supercapacitors that also give us a bunch of different potential researchers. Fall of Empires. Rival Law. Regulatory capture, common cause, institutions, sanction investigations, executive privilege, supercapacitors. That can give us a bunch of different things. Self-repairing software. Particle cannon. Tactical drones. Quantum computing. Next generation aerospace. That increases by, by 0 0.5 maximum oh very interesting uh let's go for arrival law and i'm gonna uh, i'll put one into that there we go but yeah we'll get alien technology here shortly hopefully anyway uh take me to kiev deploy armies to eastern Ukraine and then we will move them down they repelled that attack apparently on Versa and Gellerix, unfortunate um let me go back to Romeo 11 let's order you back to one of our stations then uh, a Tomo station transfer to complete transfer repair please and then we'll also resupply you once you're ready to go Unfortunate, but nothing much I could do about that. Uh, Romeo 11 has been repaired. Let's also have you resupply it up. That'll take a little bit of water to do so. Uh, forces have arrived in the Kharkiv region. Let's move you to Rostov. Romeo 11 resupplied. Transfer to Versa and Getterix, please. Put on KPS. Uh, we can't assault that, apparently, again. Uh, let's transfer to Pizarro Station. We've lost a lot of stations in low Earth orbit that we kind of want to try and retake. Ah, uh, looks like we can't... We can't do anything, unfortunately. The war in Iran is still continuing, by the way. Um, which is, you know, not great. Alright, deploy our armies. Keep moving over. Let's deploy the army into Armenia. Armenia is rugged terrain. But it's got a very weak army. Okay, we just had a coup in Turkey, which is a big deal. Iran declares one South Korea. Bloody hell, what is going on? Okay, they've arrived here. Let's keep moving them downwards to Baku. Wartime atrocity. Increase our public opinion. Our people have taken there we go. We now have control fully of Jordan. We need to retake Turkey though as soon as possible. We've 
what are people in place? We now have control of the Gulf State Point as well. A little bit into spoils. There we go. No, we have control of the executive. I'm going to relations, make sure they're allied with Russia, the EU, Egypt, all those people, because otherwise the US will go and uh, take the oil from the Gulf. Oh my God, they managed to take the other control point, for God's sakes. <sighs> They've really gotten into Russia, haven't they? They haven't taken that point yet. But it is causing us some problems. Okay. Tinza, I need you to go look at doing some coup d'etat attempts. Coup d'etat, that would wipe them out over here. But coup into I Turkey for me, please. Standing by for orders. You can try and do a purge into the Gulf states. You can look at stabilizing the situation in Turkey. Storing order. Well, actually, Where no, I need you advising, realistically speaking. I want the science. Um, defend interests. Defend our executive interest in the Where Gulf. We can't sabotage project with you. Yeah, Assault alien asset. Can we get any new organizations? Um, you can have your science increased by to 20. You can have your security increased. Um, we could also get your position, but you've got max 25 out of 25. Um, is there any, like, big bonuses here? The Atlas Corporation, a Combo Defense Corporation. It's a lot of research bonuses. This is gives us additional organizations, these two Aries groups. Let's grab both of those. Then we can start looking at getting some of this. That provides us with a mission control. Let's buy that uh, right away. Um, I, I will always take an additional mission control. Vega 15 energy research is pretty massive. Um, yeah, 15 energy research is pretty massive. Let's go for the Vega Corporation. Or Vega Foundation, my bad. That gives us plus 15 energy research. Which is pretty big. We got 89% bonus now in that. And 7th of March is when we should be able to get alien technology. Let us uh, just turn off Europe for Ascendant and try and go for that. So it'll be 27th of February. Um, confirm assignments. And uh, we're going into Armenia as so well. Ensuring all of this. I will help them. Hammerology completed. So that's the settlement mining complex at Daimos. So that's mining us additional uh, resources. And we'll be going again into our menu. That gives another mission control, which will be very, very nice. Okay, we've arrived. All these armies need to be moved into Baku as soon as possible. Uh, nanotube filament radiator. So that is, I think, the best radiator we're going to get like in the near term. Um... So let me find that. That is nanotube filament radiator. That'd be 153.8 tons. That's that is an improvement. Uh, moderate combat uh, vulnerability when deployed, but definitely an improvement. And it's not that expensive either. Um, Freedom and justice. Okay, we just queued Turkey again. New Navy launches, so that allows the 20th Tank Scout Army to now do things. Uh, those forces just arrived. Okay, let's send them in to Baku. They will arrive on February. The LZ is let's see what alien technology gives us, and then we'll probably end the, the episode off is. right there. Oh, wow, 8%. We actually nearly got that. Um, humans arrive on Mercury. We've arrived on Mercury. That does give us some research. Um, and we've got an outpost mining complex on Mercury now. So that's going to be generating us quite a few new metals. So if we have a look at um, at Mercury, uh, we have the construction module that we've done 30 tons to go. Um, solar collector we can upgrade. 122 income. That's pretty fantastic. Let's get the settlement mining complex up as well. Um, I want a nano factory. 
and then we're all let's put a marine platoon barracks on so that'll provide us with 280 power wow that's uh that's impressive um but yeah let's wait until that'll be done so that'll be november to get all those done but we we did manage to land on mercury for the first time oh my god we lost russia how the hell are they doing that that's ridiculous okay we need to queue russia okay here we go you complete the alien technology project Today, we've seen less, uh, no less than four-year requests for everything from recovery data banks to simple bulk care fatness. Um, given that each item is a potential treasure trove, how does it operate and what is its purpose in the chemical one, what was created from and where, the recovery technology has begun to yield its secrets, the theoretical applications of which very much depend on our own intentions. Unfortunately, with such a finite amount of these alien artifacts to hand, we can now only scratch the surface. Objective complete. Uh, our research has been fruitful. First, we have confirmed that all of the pieces of alien equipment we have thus far examined were constructed primarily out of elements and materials in our solar system. This is perhaps unsurprising, considering the massive energies required to transverse the vast distances between the stars. It is logical that since Stellar Invader would seek to rely on the defensive resources rather than all their own. Second, and more importantly, every sample study contains some trace of a unique artificial alloy of extrasolar origin, from silver conduit wiring to steel struts. If we were to continue to reverse engineer that technology, analyzing this alloy is the next step. So that, we need to defeat another alien warship. Uh, oh, we've already done that. Our exposure to alien technology at the crash site did not pass for the true sight of an alien warship. Though the warship shares design similarity to their own trophy vessels, its is, scale is awe-inspiring. Even so, salvage teams report a number of humanizing instances. Hastily patched hull, J-rig conduits. It was not to gather intelligence, but to acquire alien alloys. Research exotic materials. Um... Okay, very, very good. Um, and I think that's where we end the episode off. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.